Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Mecca for All, The Death Scythe That Pierces the Starry Sky. Chapter 51 When Chen Mu exited the examination room, other candidates were in full swing for the second assessment. It's absolutely not normal, and I don't believe they can pass. Chen Mu opened the cockpit fiercely, came outside the examination room, and waited quietly for the final result. Melee class Chen Mu failed the assessment. The school loudspeaker announced the name of the first student who was eliminated. This voice made Chen Mu's face darken again, almost becoming the bottom of the pot. On the rostrum, several figures also began to discuss at this moment. Principal Yang frowned and said, Chen Mu, is that the freshman who fought with the Valkyrie team? Yes, that's him, but how could he be eliminated so quickly? Something's wrong. With the strength he showed in the video, Mr. Zhang told him to let him take the inner court assessment immediately after passing the freshman assessment. Ma Jun, tell him to come over and ask what's going on. Looking at the people on the rostrum, Ma Jun said calmly, I am also very surprised, but after checking several times, there is no problem. Chen Mu also made a test request for the optical brain, and there is no problem. That's very strange, why don't you ask him to take the exam again? Principal Yang thought for a while and said, That's not in line with the college's procedures, and it's not fair to other candidates. Ma Jun said with a straight face, That's right, forget it, anyway, the assessment will continue in three months, so it's okay to let him train for a few more months. Principal Yang nodded. Ma Jun saluted, turned and left the rostrum. Yi Xing successfully passed the freshman assessment, with a comprehensive score of 75.15 and a rating of S. Wang Dao successfully passed the freshman assessment, with a comprehensive score of 67.85 and a rating of A+. Mu Junlin successfully passed the freshman assessment, with a comprehensive score of 79.55 and a grade evaluation of S+. As the big speakers passed one by one, Chen Mu's hands became tighter and tighter. Until the last student came out, Chen Mu found that he was the only student who failed. This put Chen Mu on the verge of breaking out. The students around him all felt a murderous aura pervading, so they all left his side far away. Chen Mu didn't pass, it's impossible. Yi Xing's first reaction was that something went wrong. That's right, with Chen Mu's strength, there is no situation where he can't pass. Could it be that he offended someone? Very likely, I suspect that someone is unwilling to let him live. All the new students talked a lot, but they didn't dare to ask Chen Mu, they could only look at the boy who was sitting still from a distance. After all, Chen Mu's strength was fully displayed in the battle with the Valkyrie team. Chen Mu's eyes and ears are so sharp that he didn't miss a word of these students' comments, so he has completely calmed down at this moment. He doesn't have any enemies here, and the only ones who have a little feud, Wu Zi and others, have already fought and wiped out their grievances. So Chen Mu really couldn't figure out who was messing with him. However, it doesn't matter, any existence that cannot defeat oneself is the driving force for progress. Don't let me know who you are, or I won't make you a peach blossom. It's just that Chen Mu didn't expect it at this moment, he never got this opportunity in his life. With a stomach full of gloom, Chen Mu came to the logistics department, just in time to see the triumphant Yi Jingxuan. Student Chen Mu, how is the assessment going? Chen Mu was silent for three minutes, and then, under Wei Adiu's surprised eyes, he scolded the guy who hindered him from passing the test for ten minutes, without repeating anything in between. At the end, Chen Mu said viciously, I will definitely beat that fool until his face is full of peach blossoms, I swear. Chen Mu, who was caught in anger and delusion, didn't realize how wonderful the transformation of Yi Jingxuan's old face was. Therefore, not only Chen Mu was very depressed, but Yi Jingxuan was also very depressed. This kid actually curses people better than his old man, what the hell? Yi Jingxuan couldn't help but utter a swear word in his heart, his old face was ashen. Yi Jingxuan, who has lived for so many years, has encountered such a scene of being scolded face to face and being unable to refute it for the first time. Boy, you are willing to bet and admit defeat. From today onwards, you are a member of the logistics department and must obey my arrangements. Chen Mu glanced at Yi Jingxuan suspiciously. Old man, it could be that you are behind the scenes. A person like me, Yi Jingxuan looked upright. To be honest, it's very similar, you see you are so wretched. I'll kill you, 
think about it with your brain, which is smaller than a walnut kernel, I'm an oddball in the logistics department, how can I have so much energy? That's right, hey, which fool is it, it's really hateful. Chen Mu was angry again. Starting tomorrow, come to the logistics department to report officially. In return, I will give you a new recruit badge for my old face, so that you can enter the alien beast battlefield. What, Lao Yi, can you do it? Chen Mu asked suspiciously. I'm not as articulate as you are, I, Lao Yi, still have to face. Okay, as long as you can enter the alien beast battlefield, the logistics department should be the logistics department. Chen Mu immediately put aside all the unhappiness, and patted Lao Yi on the shoulder, Old Yi, you finally said something human today. Yi Jingxuan looked at the kid who had returned to normal, dumbfounded, and began to calculate fiercely in his heart. Ah Mu, are you okay? Mu Junlin ran over panting. After hearing that Chen Mu failed the examination, Mu Junlin was very worried. However, seeing Chen Mu calmly starting to carve new bones made her feel relieved. What's the matter? Chen Mu chuckled. Lao Yi has helped me get the recruit badge, it doesn't matter if I pass it or not. That's good. Mu Junlin laughed. Today they said that they will celebrate together tonight and become an official pilot. Let me ask if you want to participate. Oh, do you want to go? Chen Mu asked casually while carving. Well, we are likely to be comrades in arms fighting together in the future. It is not a bad thing to get to know each other. Let's go together at night. Okay, I'll accompany you if you want to go. Chen Mu nodded. At 6 o'clock in the evening, 225 people came to the largest hotel in Tianfu. This is a five-star hotel named Tianfu Hotel. The hotel is 99 floors high, and each floor has several private rooms and a hall that can accommodate thousands of people. Chen Mu and others, led by the waiter, came to the basement hall on the 66th floor. Our highest level can only go to the underground hall, which is currently the best hall in Tianfu except the Heavenly Hall. Yi Xing introduced to Chen Mu. Are there still grades here? Mu Junlin asked curiously. Well, Tianfu Hotel is a membership system. If my dad hadn't been familiar with their chairman, I wouldn't have been able to get a second level membership card at my age. Yi Xing nodded. Yi Xing, your family is so powerful, you actually let us have dinner in Tianfu de Tang. A student who knew the inside story said in amazement. Today is a good day for us to become pilots, so this celebration must not be sloppy, and you don't have to be cautious. We will all be comrades in arms in the future. Let us keep in touch now, maybe someday we will need to support each other. Yi Xing's words made everyone feel good, even Chen Mu nodded from the heart. As expected, Yi Xing came from a big family, and the ease of speaking made everyone feel comfortable. After Yi Zing's gags, a group of teenagers quickly became acquainted and walked towards the underground hall step by step. However, at this time a waiter suddenly ran over, glanced around and looked at Yi Sheng. Young Master Yi, there are already people in the underground hall, can we change one? Yi Zing's face darkened. When I made the reservation, I didn't say there was anyone. I'm really sorry, maybe the waiter made a mistake. I'll change you to the second hall on the 65th floor. Do you think it's okay? Wrong. Yi Xing frowned, looked at the waiter who was leading him, saw that the other party bowed his head and said nothing, and understood. It's impossible to make a mistake. I'm entertaining my classmates today, so I have to go to the hall and ask your manager to come out. This, young Master Yi, don't be angry, how about I give you a 50% discount tonight, okay? Am I like someone who can't pay? Or do you think I care about this little money? Yi Zing's face darkened. Forget it, Yi Xing, it's the same when we go to the second floor hall. Yes, yes, one thing more is worse than one thing less. A group of classmates also persuaded them one after another. Yi Xing looked at Chen Mu, what do you think? If it's really a mistake, there's nothing you can do about it. If it's not, then someone they can't afford to offend has forcibly occupied the hall. Chen Mu shook his head. As I thought, I want to see who it is. Yi Xing pushed the waiter away and walked towards the gate of the underground hall. Hey, young Master Yi, you can't, the beautiful waitress shouted quickly. But at this time, Yi Xing had already pushed the door open. The boiling voices inside suddenly quieted down, and hundreds of people looked over at the same time. Chen Mu looked up, 
There were at least three or four hundred people inside, and a young boy standing in the center was looking at Yi Xing with a worried expression. Yi Xing, Feng Yuan, what are you doing here? I don't remember inviting you. Feng Yuan raised his voice and said, I booked this, you guys went to the wrong place. Yi Xing said with a gloomy face. Oh, that's really embarrassing. Today, our sanctuary college freshmen are going to celebrate becoming a pilot, so I'll take care of it here. You can change places. Why, why, ha 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 ha, just relying on me, Feng Yuan, how about it? Yi Xing, if this is the imperial capital, I might give you three points, but it's a pity, in this area of heaven, you have to lie down for me if you are a dragon. Come on, it's a tiger, you have to lie down for me. Looking for death, Yi Xing was angry. Hee hee, young master Yi, are you angry? Come on, let me see how you have improved after going to Tianfu Academy. Young master Feng, why do you need a sledgehammer to kill a chicken, let me deal with this kid. A boy with a wicked face stood up. No, young master Wu, if you go out, I'm afraid he will die here later, that's not good, after all, his old man still has some energy. Feng Yuan said jokingly. If this is the case, let's play a game, whoever wins, who belongs here. Chen Emu's voice sounded behind Yi Xing. Hearing Chen Emu's voice, Yi Xing was stunned for a moment, and said in a low voice, are you sure? Others are obviously messing with you on purpose, so if this fight doesn't happen, what will you do in this land of heaven? Chen Mu shook his head. Yi Xing showed a fierce look on his face. You were right, then have a fight with them. Feng Yuan looked at Chen Mu and frowned, Who are you? Who do you care about me? Chen Mu smiled, Women stand aside, I don't hit women. You're so arrogant, young master Feng, I can't take it anymore. Wu Fan flicked his long white hair and was the first to stand up. Yeah, brother Feng, what is Tianfu Academy? Our sanctuary academy is one of the top ten existences. We must convince them today and let them know who is the leader of Tianfu. Yeah, kill them. Looking at the hundreds of people standing up inside, Chen Mu turned to a group of freshmen, do you dare to fight? Sao, if you don't dare, you won't become a pilot. Brother Chen Mu, you have the final say, we listen to you. Yes, isn't it Sanctuary College? What the hell, kill them. Then go ahead, the girls stay outside. Chen Mu rushed forward immediately. Kill them to death, Feng Yuan shouted angrily, and rushed over with hundreds of people. Dot dot dot, manager, what should we do? There's a fight, should we call the police, or go and persuade him? The waiter looked anxiously at the Tianfu lobby manager. You're new here, what kind of persuasion? Are you looking for death in the past? These students are not serious in their actions. I don't want to be beaten and lie in the hospital for a few months. The lobby manager looked at the waiter speechlessly. Then what to do? Both sides are rich people, let them fight on their own, anyway, they are rich masters, the forces behind them will compensate for the loss, you go and call dozens of waiters over, they will finish fighting in a while, just clean up the field, and the winning side will definitely celebrate. Listening to the lobby manager's words, the waiter looked dull. Not going soon. Oh, good, good. The lobby manager frowned and looked at the chaotic lobby, and made a call. Yes, yes, there is a fight, yes, I have arranged for an ambulance to be on call at any time, to ensure that there will be no deaths, yes, yes, chairman, don't worry. The lobby manager who hung up the phone looked at the battle situation in the underground hall, this job is really not done by humans. It is really a crime to renovate an underground hall seven times a month. They are all freshmen. Although there are some capable fighters among them, they are not enough to look at in front of Chen Mu, a humanoid Tyrannosaurus. Don't look at Chen Mu being beaten miserably in front of Wea, but in front of this group of students, Chen Mu is an invincible existence. With Chen Mu attracting most of the firepower, the other students are very relaxed, two or three beat each other up, that's a lot of fun. And those who could pose a threat to Tianfu students were all punched by Chen Mu powerfully and heavily at this moment, their bones were broken, and the whole hall wailed. With Chen Mu as a powerful fighting machine, the battle went on quickly and ended in just half an hour. There were also quite a few wounded on Chen Mu's side, 70 to 80 people with bruises and swollen faces, but compared to the more than 300 people lying on the ground across the way, that was much better. From now on, we will walk around when we see you, do you hear me? 
Chen Yu knelt down and looked at Feng Yuan who couldn't open his eyes. You're looking for death. Feng Yuan spat out a mouthful of blood and shouted with all his might. Cut, the dead duck has a hard mouth. Chen Yu slapped him on the forehead, knocking him out completely. This scene also left all the students of Sanctuary College speechless. Go away, today this place belongs to our Tianfu Academy. Yi Xing roared angrily. Oh 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 oh, all the freshmen cheered, even though some of them were ridiculously bruised and swollen, they were all full of smiles. Soon, dozens of medical staff entered the hall and carried the students out one by one. And the whole hall quickly returned to normal under the help of the waiter. The celebration dinner for freshmen was successfully held, but no one expected that this sudden battle brought the students of the two colleges to the same situation and also aroused years of grievances and enmities. The students returned after having a carnival for six hours, and this time the party also narrowed the distance between everyone. After all, they are all of the same age and have more common language. Chen Yu didn't be stingy with his training experience and replied to his classmates one by one with some practice methods. As for how much they can learn, it depends on their own fortune. Chen Yu and Mu Junlin, who had drunk a little wine, held hands at this moment, strolling on the path of the college, heading for Mu Junlin's residence. Ah Mu, let me sing you a song. Good, Mu Junlin's touching voice sounded, soft and soft, like a breeze in the sun, making people extremely comfortable. Chen Yu was smiling, and his heart was peaceful. If every day in this world was so peaceful and happy, that would be the greatest happiness. Today is Chen Emu's first day reporting to the logistics department. His task was to count the points and contribution points of each combat team. It's just that he, who has always been restless, left all these tasks to Mu Junlin, and he found Yi Jingxuan who was sculpting. Lao Yi, is this the job of the logistics department to do this every day? Then why not? Didn't you see that I am grinding parts here every day? Yi Jingxuan said without raising his head. That's too embarrassing, I'm going to the alien beast battlefield. Chen Mu said in a deep voice. Okay, let's go, the alien beast battlefield will open today, but I have a condition. What's the condition, tell me? Chen Mu waved his hand. As long as you can go to the alien beast battlefield, nothing else is a problem. Your trophies from the Alien Beast Battlefield cannot be handed over to the Statistics Department, but brought directly to me. Then how do I increase my points? Chen Mu asked suspiciously. Don't worry, I can directly increase your points, as well as the contribution of badges. All right, that's what you said. If there is any problem with the Academy, you will be responsible for it. Well, no problem. Looking at the back of Chen Mu running out in a hurry, Yi Jingxuan smiled, it's nice to be young. Ah Mu, the team badge. Mu Junlin earnestly pinned a team badge on Chen Emu's battle uniform. This is a badge like a flame. On the badge is an extremely cold death side with black flames that seem to be spinning. Good job, Shaolin is really good. Chen Mu praised sincerely. You have to be careful, if there is any problem or the body is damaged, you have to come back as soon as possible, and I will fix it for you. Mu Junlin warned. Well, no problem. Chen Mu smiled and got on an aircraft. This is a small aircraft specially designed to escort pilots into the alien space, and each can carry 20 people. This is the first time for Chen Mu to ride this kind of aerial combat equipment, after all, they are all military-controlled products. Soon, after gathering 20 people, the aircraft took off and headed for the fourth coordinate. The personnel in the aircraft obviously belonged to two teams and were familiar with each other. They ignored Chen Emu's existence and talked on their own. Ten minutes later, the captain sent a reminder from the cockpit. Pilots please fasten your seat belts, this ship is about to enter a wormhole. Chen Mu looked up and found that the group of students were still talking and laughing happily, knowing that there should be no danger for the time being. Soon, the environment outside the cabin turned into colorful colors and kept rotating. A sense of weightlessness came, making Chen Mu slightly uncomfortable. Fortunately, this feeling came and went quickly. About 20 seconds later, the aircraft rushed out of the wormhole and came to a gloomy and dim world. This is the alien beast space. Chen Mu looked at the scenery outside curiously, then looked at his communicator and found that the signal had been completely lost. The aircraft flew for another two hours without encountering any abnormalities on the way and then landed. 
Only then did Chen Mu realize that there was actually a huge steel fortress here. This is the Dragon Kingdom's outpost, Dragon City, in the alien beast space. After hundreds of years of fighting, through the efforts of several generations, all countries have successfully built their bases in the alien beast space. The air here is suitable for human survival, and it is thousands of times larger than the Earth, and there are countless resources. Therefore, the development of alien beast space is the top priority for every country. Because this is a time for the world to reshuffle the cards. With the discovery of various special materials, nuclear bombs are no longer enough to be the last deterrent. The development of science and technology in this world has also benefited from the various resources of the alien beast space. Therefore, in this era, pilots are the strongest combat power and the most respected existence by the people. It was the first time for Chen Mu to set foot on such a world. Standing in this steel fortress, Chen Mu felt his blood start to boil. Guided by the optical road signs along the way, Chen Mu quickly came to the mission hall and submitted his identification number. Soldier Chen Mu, you are a new soldier and currently have zero contribution points. You can choose to accept tasks with levels 1 to 2. You can replenish supplies in this fortress. Regular supplies are free, and special supplies need to be exchanged for contribution points. You can choose to stay in the fortress for 3 days this time. After 3 days, the passage will be closed, and recruits will be forced to return to the main world. Every time you explore the world of alien beasts and the contribution points you get from killing alien beasts, you can upgrade your soldier badge. The beasts you kill alone are your personal trophies. You can choose to sell them to the official or bring them back to the main world. Bringing them back to the main world will not give you additional contribution points. The fortress will release missions for all staff from time to time, and all pilots in the fortress must execute them unconditionally, otherwise they will be dealt with by military law. In case of an emergency, the fortress may close the channel to the main world until the crisis is resolved. Under the current circumstances, all pilots must fight unconditionally for the safety of the fortress, otherwise they will be considered treason. I wish you peace. The entire Dragon City is divided into four major sections, the Mission Release Hall, the Mecha Maintenance Department, the Logistics Maintenance Department, and the Living Area. This is a super fortress capable of accommodating a million people, and there are many service personnel stationed there at ordinary times. After Chen Mu spent the whole morning familiarizing himself with the situation of the entire fortress, he went straight to the mission release hall. There are two ways to issue tasks, one is the task issued by the military, and most of them are combat types. For example, how many monsters need to be killed to kill a certain kind of beast. Destroy a monster gathering point that is too close to the fortress, etc. The other type is a task issued by various universities or a certain force. This is a lot of strange tasks. For example, to escort some scientific researchers to investigate certain places. Collect some strange materials and so on. Depending on the distance and the degree of danger that may be encountered, the rewards given are different. Chen Mu looked at it for a long time with great interest, and found that if he wants to complete military missions, he must start from level 1 to 2 missions. It is equivalent to a step-by-step -step promotion of military rank in order to complete high-level tasks. As for private tasks, you cannot increase your military rank, but you can get some special rewards or credit points. Well, take a military mission first, and see the strength of the strange beasts here. After Chen Mu thought about it, he carefully browsed through the tasks released today, and then chose one of them. The mission issued by Major Shao Kui. Go to the coordinate point, explore the Iron-Toothed Tiger's lair, and find out the reason for the Iron-Toothed Tiger's riot. Mission Reward 10 Badge Experience Points Extra Task Reward Kill more than 10 mutated Iron-Toothed Tigers and bring back complete corpses, rewarding 10 Badge Experience Points. Whether you accept the task, others will not accept the task within one day after accepting the task. The task has been accepted successfully, please belong to your team number and personal number. The team record is successful, the coordinates have been sent to your communicator, I wish you success. Chen Mu looked at the communicator on his wrist, and indeed a coordinate was displayed there, and a green arrow appeared, marking the location. This function is very practical. Chen Mu was overjoyed. After all, this is the first time I have come here, and I am not very familiar with the surrounding environment. 
With this coordinate guide, it would be great. Let's recharge Xing Yan first. It is said that there is the best charger here. Chen Mu was thinking as he walked towards the supply place. Just as Chen Mu was running forward, he didn't realize that several people were staring at his back. Brother, this kid took Yi Xing and others to rob our underground hall. Feng Yuan said with hatred on his face. Then it can only be said that you are all trash. Feng Zan snorted coldly. It's almost completely embarrassing the face of our old Feng family. But, brother, I can't swallow this breath. I want to kill him. I have already investigated. He is just a kid with no background, and the mecha is only B level. Feng Yuan clenched his hands. He had never been humiliated like this since he was a child, and this made him lose his mind. So after lying in the treatment cabin for eight hours to recover, he immediately followed the big brother to the alien beast space. The purpose is to find traces of Chen Mu. He didn't dare to kill Yi Xing blatantly, but a kid with no background, couldn't he kill him? Oh, a B-level pilot beat you all over the place, and you have the face to say it here. Fang Zan's expression became even uglier. If you don't help me, brother, I will do it myself. I will definitely kill him. Fang Yuan said with a prick in his neck, his eyes spitting fire. The people around Fang Zan frowned upon hearing this. Fang Zan slapped Fang Yuan's face with a slap. You fool, everyone is the pilot of the Dragon Kingdom. You came to this alien beast space for the strength of the motherland, but you only think about personal revenge. When you return to the main world, your family will come to this space. I can't serve you. Fang Yuan held his swollen cheeks in disbelief. Brother, you hit me. You hit me for outsider. Fang Zan's eyes showed a murderous look. If you talk nonsense with me again, I will destroy you now. Seeing the murderous look in his elder brother's eyes, Feng Yuan suddenly came to his senses, and lowered his head unwillingly, I'm sorry brother, I was wrong. Forget it, Captain, Xiao Yuan is still young and not sensible. Yes, Captain, let's finish the last task first. Several team members around spoke up one after another, Feng Zan looked better now, pointed at Feng Yuan's nose and said, from now on, I don't want to hear you talk about this kind of internal killing in front of me again, if there is any more, you should get out. Out of my team, fend for myself. Yes, big brother. Feng Yuan lowered his head, but the resentment in his eyes was extremely intense. After several people left Dragon City one after another, Feng Yuan gritted his teeth and controlled the mecha, following behind the team. And at this moment, Feng Zan's figure appeared on his holographic screen, Are you an idiot? You said you wanted to kill other students in Dragon City. Isn't that just an insult? Brother, I, if you want to do it, just do it directly, don't say it out loud, that's a coward's act, and it's also the most stupid act. If you do it, you have to do it cleanly, and don't let anyone get hold of it. The family has so much relevant experience and knowledge, have you learned it from the dog? I'm sorry, brother, I was wrong. This time, Fang Yuan sincerely apologized. Well, you are my only younger brother. I will definitely keep you, but you have to fight for yourself. You have to know that you are not an ordinary person. You are from my Feng family. Yes, brother, I will do what you say I will do. Feng Yuan nodded seriously. Chen Yu has gone to the alien beast dimension, will there be any problems alone? After all, his experience is too inexperienced. Ma Jun asked a little worried. After more than a month of getting along, the relationship between Chen Mu and Ma Jun has gradually become stronger. For this student who is valued by his teacher, Ma Jun has always come to see him as a junior, so he is also very concerned. Children always have to go through wind and rain. When our generation was growing up, they all broke through the bloody storm. At that time, there was no background. Yi Jingxuan shook his head. However, the current situation is different from the past. At that time, human beings were struggling to survive, but now they have slightly gained the upper hand. The commonality of human beings is that it is easy to share adversity, but when interests are at stake, selfishness and struggle are inevitable. However, don't worry, with Chen Emu's strength, unless he is a master of the older generation, no one can get cheap one-on-one -on -one with him. Compared with our generation, the only thing he lacks now is actual combat experience. Yi Jingxuan stopped what he was doing, and looked at his empty left hand. The ring that has been worn for decades has disappeared at this moment. 
This scene was also noticed by Ma Jun. He showed an excited and excited look, and stood up abruptly. Teacher, could it be that Master Shui has recovered? A smile appeared on Yi Jingxuan's face. Well, the twelve-winged golden body pterosaur bone carved by Chen Mu made her recovery reach 80%. Then, that's great, Ma Jun was a little incoherent with excitement. Seeing Ma Jun's expression, Yi Jingxuan shook his head. You are already in your tens of years, and you are still so restless. Hey, Ma Jun scratched his head in embarrassment. Dot dot dot, Xing Yan's whole body has been connected to the energy conductor. Sitting in the cockpit, Chen Mu was a little depressed, is this the best charger? It's not too bad, it's only 10% of the energy after charging for an hour. Chen Mu has not realized at this moment that energy is no longer scarce in this world, so the speed of energy transmission has reached a terrifying state. To put it simply, it only takes an hour for a nuclear-powered mech to replenish its energy. It's just these common senses, because Chen Mu didn't have mechas before, so he didn't understand them. If that's the case, the mission time has passed. After charging for five hours, Xingyan's energy gauge reached 55%, and then Chen Mu decisively chose to stop. It should be enough. After Xingyan's energy exceeded 50%, his whole body began to emit a faint light, which was the performance of the activation of the X armor after the energy was sufficient. Full system boot. Accompanied by the electronic female voice, Xingyan's engine made a deep and powerful roar. This roar is the sound that every young man who yearns for the blue sky cannot refuse. The line is clear, recruit Chen Mu, you can attack, I wish you peace. Call, Chen Mu let out a breath and pressed the eject button. Xing Yan's powerful legs kicked down, and then, like a fired shell, he shot up into the sky from the firing port, then changed direction in the air, and flew out of the fortress. The sky in the alien beast space was a bit gloomy, and red lightning flashed from time to time, which greatly interfered with the scanning of the holographic screen. Here, signal loss is a very scary thing. If you go deep into the planet, once you lose the signal, it becomes very difficult to return to the Dao Fortress. Fortunately, the distance of Chen Emu's trip is not far, only about 5,000 kilometers. According to Xing Yan's maximum speed, it only takes less than two hours. However, after 3,000 kilometers away, Chen Mu slowed down. According to some instructions of the Dragon City Fortress, 3,000 kilometers away, they have entered the territory of alien beasts, and they may encounter some unpredictable risks at any time. Chen Mu scanned his surroundings intently. What is that? At this moment, Chen Mu noticed the movement below. Through the image transmitted by optical scanning, Chen Mu saw a black giant ape with a height of 15 meters. At this moment, the giant ape was holding a huge tree, looking at Chen Emu's mecha with fierce eyes. The database immediately displayed the information of the great ape. Black ape, a ferocious animal that lives in groups, has no flying ability, weighs 17 tons, and can weigh tens of thousands of kilograms with a single arm. Excellent throwing ability, Chen Emu's heart moved, and he immediately raised Xing Yan's height. At this moment, he saw the giant ape roar and smash the tree towards Xing Yan. The mech's siren sounded immediately, and he threw the tree over 2,000 meters into the air, and it fell with force. Chen Mu dodged easily, and the next moment, hundreds of giant apes appeared on the ground and threw the tree in his hand at the same time. I'm going, it's a bit powerful. Chen Mu smiled, and continued to increase the height of Xing Yan, but what's the point of not hitting? But at this moment, the mech's alarm sounded violently, without any intention of stopping. Um, as soon as Chen Emu's face changed, his eyes swept over a red figure that rushed towards him. Chen Mu was trembling all over, and without thinking about it, he wiped his hands, and Xing Yin's sickle immediately came to his hand, and then blocked and swiped. There was a muffled sound of, dong, and Chen Mu felt his world spin for a while. This made him understand that he had already been hit by the opponent. The collision training of the academy showed that the speed of the opponent was faster than Xing Yan. It's just that when Chen Mu was stabilizing the mecha, he also heard a shrill roar. Judging from the sound, Chen Mu judged that the other party did not get any benefits from the Blade of Creation. However, Chen Mu did not relax, but changed directions three times in a row in the air, and then he rushed up and stabilized himself again. Through the screen, Chen Mu saw a ferocious big bird. 
Its pointed head seemed to be connected with its long beak, shining with metallic luster. And its claws were even more shining with silver, obviously extremely sharp. It's just that at this moment, the big bird didn't rush up immediately, but kept flapping its long claws with its wings. Their blood is constantly pouring from the sky. This strange bird, whose name Chen Mu didn't know, looked at Xing Yan with hatred for a long time, then turned around and left quickly. So intelligent, Chen Mu's heart shuddered, and his fierceness against strange beasts was raised to another level in his heart. Wild beasts are not scary, what is scary are beasts that can think like humans. If these strange beasts are all like this, doesn't it mean that there is a possibility of communication between these strange beasts? Chen Mu controlled Xingyun to hover for a while, and after finding nothing abnormal, he flew to the destination again. This time, there were no accidents on the way. Basically, the area within 10,000 kilometers of Feng Yuan, the base, is relatively safe. There are patrols passing by from time to time, and many communication base stations have been set up along the way. Chen Mu quickly found the location of the coordinates. According to the mission log description, there is a small tribe of iron-toothed tigers here. The iron-toothed tiger is a D-level beast that lives in groups and has no flying function. Compared with novices, it is relatively easy to deal with. The iron-toothed tiger's body is not very strong, so it is a very good food. The only thing he has that is useful to the mech is a pair of fangs protruding from his mouth. This pair of fangs has been processed to make a carrier for special ammunition. So from time to time there will be businessmen to buy. Therefore, many missions of this kind are usually issued to allow some recruits to practice combat. Chen Mu's mission is slightly different this time, to find out the root cause of the Iron-Toothed Tiger riot. So although a group of Iron-Toothed Tigers had been discovered at this moment, Chen Mu did not act immediately, but began to observe carefully while checking the information of the iron-toothed tigers. With this observation, Chen Mu quickly discovered something was wrong. Iron-toothed tigers hunt every day during the day, so they will divide the group into several parts. Female tigers and cubs stay in the territory, and adult male tigers go out to hunt collectively. According to Chen Mu's observation, there are only a few male tigers that go out to hunt, but the majority stay in the territory and roar restlessly all the time. After Chen Mu checked again and again, he found that the group of male tigers were all gathered in one place, and scratched the ground with their paws from time to time. Could it be that there is something underground that makes these iron-toothed tigers unwilling to leave? However, alien beasts prioritize survival. What can make them give up their hunting instinct? There is only one possibility, evolution. Alien beasts can evolve, which was mentioned in detail in the junior high school textbooks in this world. Any kind of alien beast in the alien beast space can absorb or an energy, and when it reaches a certain level, it can activate the evolutionary genes in the body, making the entire group even stronger. This also makes it impossible for humans and alien beasts to coexist, because both rare ores and energy are indispensable for both parties. Chen Mu waited patiently for three hours, and kept using the recorder to record the movements of the group of iron-toothed tigers. Until, there was a violent roar in the distance. This sound pierced through gold and cracked rocks, even if Chen Mu was in the cab, there was a tinnitus in his ears. What, it's amazing. Chen Mu looked into the distance with some surprise. Soon the optical screen showed a snow-white leopard running at a speed exceeding Mach 2. Looking in that direction, it is impressively where the territory of this group of iron-toothed tigers is located. S-level alien beasts are detected approaching, please be careful. The real-time reminder from the recruit badge made Chen Mu serious immediately, and the height of the entire mech reached 3,000 meters. Seemingly sensing the arrival of the snow leopard, the group of iron-toothed tigers let out an uneasy roar, and then began to flee in all directions. Surprisingly, the group of iron-toothed tigers were scared away just by sound. Doesn't the information say that although the level of the iron-toothed tigers is not high, they are determined to die? Chen Mu frowned watching the situation. In the blink of an eye, the snow leopard came to the place where the iron-toothed tigers gathered, then kept turning around the ground, and finally slapped it fiercely. Chen Mu's pupils shrank like needles in an instant. Because of the snow leopard's slap, an afterimage suddenly appeared, and then a huge deep pit appeared on the ground. The pothole was the same as if it had been bombarded by a beam cannon. The physical power of this leopard is so terrifying. 
If there were no magic weapons like mechas, how could human beings contend with such strange beasts? Before Chen Mu could exclaim, the snow leopard slapped the extremely hard ground again, and the ground sank a few feet, revealing an extremely dark pothole. Ah, the snow leopard raised its head to the sky and roared angrily, then plunged into it, then quickly jumped up again, looked around the world with disdainful eyes, then swallowed a red bead in one gulp, and then ran away on the road satisfied. Although Chen Mu didn't know what the red bead was, he understood in his heart that it must be an item that could evolve a strange beast. At this moment, the reason for the Iron Toothed Tiger's riot was basically the same, so Chen Mu watched the group of Iron Toothed Tigers gradually approaching, and controlled the mech to dive down. Xing Yan's sharp sickle was almost invincible. At this moment, in this group of Iron Toothed Tigers, he killed more than 20 of them with one knife. The rest of the Iron Toothed Tigers scattered away, far away from this place. Chen Mu carefully manipulated Xing Yan to take out the capture net brought out from the fortress, packed more than 20 iron toothed tiger corpses, and flew towards Longcheng. Dot dot dot. Are you sure that's just Azaku? Feng Shiji said with a hoarse voice. Sure, besides, brother, look at the appearance, isn't it just Azaku? Feng Yuan said immediately. Feng Zan frowned, looking at Xing Yan, who was flying with an iron toothed tiger hanging on the holographic screen. For some reason, he sensed a breath of death on the cold side. For Feng Zan, who has been fighting outside all year round and has experienced hundreds of bloody battlefields, his intuition has always been very keen. Brother, it will be too late if you don't do anything. Feng Yuan said anxiously. Don't worry, you have to remember that as a pilot, you must never lose patience. This Chen Mu feels very weird to me, so I need to investigate again. In addition, here is only 4,000 kilometers away from the fortress, which is too close. If there is a mistake, even the family will not be able to protect us. You must know that the military's law enforcement team is the master who will not be recognized by the relatives. Feng Zan's voice revealed an unquestionable tone, which made Feng Yuan quiet down immediately. Even if he wanted to kill Chen Mu again, Feng Yuan knew that he had to rely on the power of the big brother. In the family, this big brother of himself is the one and only, and Feng Yuan dare not contradict him. HMPH, it's his fate, let him live for a few more days. Xiao Yuan, brother, Feng Yuan was puzzled for a while, as if his elder brother hadn't spoken to him for a long time. In our lineage, there are only two of us left. My mother asked me to take good care of you before she passed away. I also believe that I can take good care of you, but you yourself, when you encounter things, you must think twice before acting. You must not rely on a moment impulse. Oh, I see, Feng Yuan said impatiently. Feng Zan sighed, did not speak, and his eyes became sharper, looking at Chen Mu who had already flown away. Captain, the energy for monitoring the hummingbird is almost exhausted. If there is nothing else, I will take it back. Well, I'm just curious about how powerful this Chen Mu is, and nothing else, let's complete this mission now. Feng Zan opened the team channel and said. Yes, Captain. Dot dot dot. The task was completed very smoothly, and Chen Mu also obtained 20 badge experience for the first time. According to the promotion, 100 experience is required to upgrade to the first class soldier, so the energetic Chen Mu immediately started to accept the second task without stopping. It is expected that 5 to 7 tasks will be required to upgrade. With the current task difficulty, there is basically no problem. Before leaving, try to be promoted to the second class soldier. Chen Mu was thinking about it secretly, and at this moment, a woman's voice came over. Brother Chen Mu, have you passed the examination? Chen Mu looked up and saw that it was Chin Yu Chen, the owner of Fan Fan Barbecue Restaurant. Yeah, why are you here? Today is the opening day of the Alien Beast Space. Of course I have to come over to buy some goods. By the way, brother, you are here to hand in the task. Do you have any fresh ingredients that can take care of my sister? Chin Yu Chen, who was dressed in a professional suit, looked extraordinarily capable with his long hair tied up. Coupled with her long legs, she is particularly eye-catching among a group of pilots. There are more than a dozen iron-toothed tigers, do you want them? Chen Mu was worrying about how to get these trophies at the moment, but unexpectedly, he fell asleep and came to the pillow. Yes, although the iron-toothed tiger is not a rare item, it happens to be in great demand. 
Sister, how about it? Okay, over there. Chen Yu raised his hand and pointed. Chin Yu Chen looked at it carefully for a while, nodded and said, it's all fatal with one knife, basically no other damage, top grade, so, the original market price is 100,000 credits for an iron-toothed tiger, and my sister will take it all, and I will give you 110,000 for one end, how? Okay, just transfer it to my card, and you can handle the rest yourself. Chen Yu grinned. There will be good things from now on, don't forget about my sister. Chin Yu Chen also laughed. No problem, by the way, how long are you staying? I usually come here to stay for three days, and then go back before the passage is closed. Why, my brother still has a mission. Then you just wait for me, I'm going to finish ten missions first. Chin Yu Chen was taken aback. A recruit actually regarded this terrifying alien beast battlefield as a place to clear missions. Sure enough, I bet right this time. Thinking of this, Chin Yu Chen also felt better, and said, then I will wait for the good news from my brother. Most of the recruit missions are within 5,000 kilometers of the base, killing some C-level or D-level beasts. For Chen Mu, such a difficult task can be regarded as a very easy task. After all, these strange beasts cannot fly, and with the mobility and firepower of the mecha, there is no danger. This is actually a way of training soldiers. When upgraded to level 3 soldiers, the pilots are generally used to facing these ferocious beasts. In the end, the task of being promoted to corporal must be to face the flying beast. This is a gradual process. Xing Yan flickered among the black apes, like an ancient knight, killing every ten steps. The body defense of the black ape is actually very high, and it can resist the bombardment of the beam gun below the one million energy level. But this kind of defensive power is completely useless under Xing Yan's sickle. Chen Mu killed the group of black apes very easily, and then a group of mechas rushed over and began to pull the corpses to the fort for disposal. This group of pilots were all hired by Chin Yu Chen, and they used ordinary mechas mass produced on the market. The pilots were also ordinary people who had not awakened mechas but were unwilling to give up their pilot status. So this combination was formed. Chen Mu was in charge of killing the beasts, and they were in charge of mopping up. This also saves Chen Mu a lot of time, which is very beneficial to both parties. This is the third day in the alien beast space. Chen Mu has fully adapted to the situation here, and the task is completed more quickly. After killing the Black Ape group, Chen Mu's badge contribution points have reached 300, and there is only one last task left to be promoted to Corporal. There is one last task, and this trip to the alien beast space is over. Chen Mu glanced at his badge with satisfaction, and it showed that he was a third-level soldier. As for Xing Yan's energy, it shows that there is still 49% of it, and it only consumes 2% a day on average. This value also made Chen Mu very satisfied with Xing Yan's battery life. After returning to Dragon City, Chen Mu came to the task release hall immediately. Third-level soldier Chen Mu, you have chosen to accept the promotion task. Your current promotion task is a B-level task, please pay attention to safety. Please follow the coordinate prompts, go to the coordinate point, and collect a rose grass. There are usually five winged salamanders next to the rose grass, please pay attention. Chen Mu looked at the coordinates and found that the distance from the base was about 15,000 kilometers, which was no longer within the safe zone. The B-level mission is about to enter the dangerous area, and the subsequent missions will not be easy. While thinking, Chen Mu sees the time to fly outside. After all, time is precious, and it will take about six hours on the road. And just after he left, the seven mechas followed immediately. Brothers, you have been with me for many years, and I don't hide it anymore. This Chen Mu has gone through many investigations and has no background. So this time, I decided to get rid of him and avenge my brother. Fang Zan's voice came from the team channel. Captain, you have the final say, we all listen to you. That's right, Captain, if you hadn't desperately rescued me, I would have died in the mouth of the strange beast long ago, and my life is yours. Xiao Lu is right, if the Captain hadn't been under the greatest pressure every time, we would have passed away long ago. So what do you want to do, Captain, just say it, and we will listen to you. Well, when Chen Mu starts the mission, we will occupy a favorable terrain and directly outflank it. We must kill with one blow. 
Yes, the monitoring hummingbird has been released, and he can't catch up with the target in this beast space. Feng Zan felt relieved, controlled his S-class mecha, rage flame, and flew 500 kilometers behind Chen Mu. It was the first time Feng Zan had seen such a task of recruit promotion in three days. Compared with Feng Yuan, a dude younger brother, Feng Zan's life of more than 20 years has basically been lived in conspiracy and fighting, and his vision is naturally beyond the reach of ordinary people. Chen Emu's potential is too terrifying. With Feng Yuan's heart, he will not let him go easily. If he grows up, it will threaten Feng Yuan's life. Therefore, Chen Mu, don't blame me, I only have such a brother. Murderous intent flashed in Feng Zan's eyes, and he steadily controlled the mecha to fly at low altitude with both hands, and kept avoiding the trees along the way. In the air 2,000 kilometers away from here, a mecha with a height of 11 meters 88 is quietly floating in the air. The whole body of this mecha is blue, and the surface of the mecha has a hazy luster, which makes him look extremely mysterious and beautiful. On the back of the mecha is a giant sniper rifle with a length of about 6 meters. No, it is more appropriate to say that this is a sniper gun than a sniper rifle. The blue electronic eyes of the mecha were constantly flashing at this moment, and then two huge wings of light emerged from the back of the mecha, which was magnificent. The next moment, the figure of this mech had disappeared into the air. After three full seconds, there was a violent sonic boom in the air. My son should have passed the freshman assessment. The beast space is so dangerous, what have you prepared for him? Lou Ruoxin asked while making tea. Hee hee, this matter is actually quite interesting. What I have prepared is not going to be used at the moment, because someone has intervened. Chen Shan laughed. Who? Lu Ruoxin asked curiously. The one who wants you to call him adoptive father. Chen Shan said leisurely. Ha, huh, old Yi, Lu Ruoxin said in surprise. Well, with Yi Lao's ability, he can easily find out the relationship between Xiaomu and us, so I don't worry about Xiaomu's safety. As for my preparations, let's stay in the dark. Lu Ruoxin also felt relieved. The so-called mother who travels thousands of miles is worried, but after knowing that Yi Jingxuan is taking care of Chen Mu, Lu Ruoxin is not worried at all. If you ask who is the most trusted person in this world, besides her husband, the person Lu Ruoxin trusts the most is Yi Jingxuan. She is also one of the very few people who understand the power of Bai Yi Jingxuan. I've always wanted to ask you one thing. What happened in the alien beast space 16 years ago? Why did you, the most powerful of the two generations, choose to retire after that time? Lu Ruoxin looked at her husband and asked softly. This matter is too complicated, and there are countless forces involved in it. However, Lao Yi and I both believe that there must be a behind-the-scenes driving force leading all this. So we chose to retire in order to get out of the sight of some people and investigate this matter secretly. Chen Shan said slowly with a thoughtful expression on his face. You don't need to pay attention to this matter. I believe that not only me and Mr. Yi, but also many people want to find out who is behind this. This person can make the masters of the whole world enter the game. His method can be described as Tongtian. You must be careful, Lu Ruoxin said. Don't worry, I cherish my life more than anyone else, after all I have to take care of your mother and child. Chen Shan smiled. Lu Ruoxin glared at him, but didn't speak anymore. Her husband is a person who can do nothing for the family, Lu Ruoxin doesn't want to add to his troubles, so since he doesn't want to talk, she won't ask. In this regard, Lu Ruoxin can be said to be Chen Shan's true confidant. That little girl from the Mu family seems to be interested in Xiao Mu. Lu Ruoxin changed the subject. That's what you, a mother, should worry about, ha ha. Chen Shan laughed. That's right, we watched that little girl grow up too, so I'm very satisfied with knowing everything. Lu Ruoxin also smiled. They are still young, let's talk about it in a few years. How small is it? My son is 19 years old. Chen Shan covered his face, a little speechless. Dot dot dot. It should be here, five-winged salamander. According to the data, it is a group creature, and there will be no less than 20. Chen Mu carefully searched for the whereabouts of Luo Sukao at the coordinate point. There are so many trees here that it is a bit difficult to search for a plant that is only as big as a palm. However, since there are five-winged salamanders accompanying it, it will be easy to find as long as there are traces of five-winged salamanders. 
Soon, Chen Mu noticed the movement ahead. There is a piece of crooked trees, on which lie one after another lizard-like species with huge wings, with a body length between 7 to 10 meters. This is the five-winged salamander. It is very similar to the picture, but it only has one pair of wings. Why is it called the five-winged salamander? Chen Mu was a little puzzled. But since the true master has appeared, it is finally not the wrong place. Luo Su Kao is very weak. If it fights on the ground or attacks with firepower, it is likely to accidentally injure it. So Chen Mu controlled the mecha to pass by in the air. The violent roar of the engine immediately made the group of five-winged salamanders look over with their blood-red eyes. The next moment, this group of five-winged salamanders soared into the sky and rushed towards Chen Mu. The alien beasts in the alien beast space have one thing in common, that is, they have a great demand for metals and energy, especially some special alloys. Therefore, in the eyes of these strange beasts, the alloy body of the mecha is no less attractive than the delicacies of mountains and seas to humans. A hand-to-hand -hand battle immediately started. Out of prudent considerations, Chen Mu used all his strength at the beginning. The afterimages brought up by his hands, like dreamy fireworks, rise and fall on the console one after another. The death sickle turned on Xing Yan's right hand, and then slashed fiercely at the fastest five-winged salamander. It's a clean break. And Xing Yan also rushed through the incomplete body of the five-winged salamander, swung the sickle once, and a series of crashes sounded in the air, as well as the piercing scream of the five-winged newt. Under the sharpness of the creation blade, these B-level beasts still have no resistance at all. In one encounter, one was beheaded and eight were seriously injured. The other five-winged salamanders scattered and surrounded Chen Mu from a distance, with fear in their eyes. But their thirst for food and evolution made them unwilling to leave like this. And Chen Mu had to kill all these salamanders before he could go out from the cockpit to collect rose grass. As a result, the two sides confronted each other. Chapter 61 If you don't, I will. Chen Mu grinned. The creation blade turned around in Xing Yan's right hand, and then the engine roared loudly. Xing Yan's body swung left and right, and collided violently with a five-winged salamander. Blood sprayed, and the ferocious expression of the five-winged salamander froze, and its body in two halves fell to the ground. And the other five-winged salamanders also rushed towards Xingyan in an encircling circle. Xingyan's auxiliary engine suddenly turned on, his whole body turned like a spinning top, and the indestructible blade of creation instantly cut countless blood and spilled down. This blow, under the fierce impact of the five-winged salamander, caused the death of most of the entire group. The only three remaining five-winged salamanders wailed, turned and fled, and after Chen Mu chased and killed two of them, the last one had disappeared. It took Chen Mu two minutes to finally find Luo Sukao's location. After turning on Xingyan's scanning function and confirming that there were no problems nearby, Chen Mu immediately jumped out of the cockpit of the mech, then took out a wooden box, and carefully packed Luo Sukao into it. In place, in place, in place, attack. Fang Zan rang on the team channel with a chilling voice. Chen Mu froze, the sound from the air represented the arrival of aggressive hot weapons, and Xingyan's piercing siren sounded immediately. At this moment of life and death, the instinct condensed from countless times of hard work in the past emerged in my heart. Then Chen Mu stepped on the ground so hard that the whole ground sank by nearly one meter. Chen Mu jumped up and then supported the alloy barb on the leg of the mech with his right hand, then jumped up again and entered the cockpit. This time, under the stimulation of death, Chen Mu only took 1.7 seconds to enter the cockpit. At this moment, Chen Mu was very grateful to Wea for ravaging him during this time. If it wasn't for Wea's pressure, Chen Mu would have never been able to enter the cockpit before the artillery fire arrived. As soon as the cockpit was closed, there was a violent explosion. Xing Yan had already been hit, and his whole body staggered and fell backwards. Never fall, or you will die. As soon as this idea came to Chen Emu's mind, his hands instinctively swiped across the console, and several operation buttons that he had already memorized by heart immediately turned into output commands. The moment Xing Yan fell down, he supported the ground with his left hand, and then kicked his legs, and the entire mech slid across the ground to the right rear side at a fast speed. Countless beams of light ravaged the entire ground where he had just fallen to the ground. Can this be avoided? It's incredible. Don't relax, continue to suppress, as long as the captain is close, he will surely die. 
Xing Yan slid close to the ground for a kilometer, followed by an overwhelming pursuit of light beams. In front, there was also the roar of artillery fire. Cold sweat had begun to roll down Chen Emu's forehead. Who exactly? This offensive is continuous, like spring rain, and it is by no means an ordinary person. Xing Yan's leg engine stopped suddenly, and in less than a second, the auxiliary engine on his back exploded, and then Xing Yan soared into the sky, avoiding the front and rear beams, and came into the air. At this time, Chen Yu discovered the mechas attacking him, and there were six of them. Their distribution is very reasonable, and they are obviously well trained. It's just that Chen Yu couldn't figure out who it was that insisted on putting himself to death. Continue to attack, I don't believe I can't hit. Countless firepower poured in from all directions, Xing Yan changed direction several times in a row, and was about to escape from the encirclement. Why, why can't it be locked? Fang Yuan gritted his teeth and manipulated the mecha. For a full minute, he never fired. It wasn't that he didn't want to fire, but that he simply couldn't lock onto Chen Mu who was changing directions like crazy. Compared with him, although the other five could not target Chen Mu, they could use their own experience to conduct predictive shooting, and the tacit understanding between the five of them made this shooting method even more powerful. If it wasn't for Feng Yuan's flaw, these five people could have done better. Where is the captain? Why hasn't the captain appeared yet? What happened to the captain? Why didn't he move? Did he get hit? Just as the five of them kept pulling Chen Mu into the battle circle, Feng Zan, the strongest among them, was silent at the moment. The anger controlled by Feng Zan hovered quietly in the air, motionless. It wasn't that he didn't want to move, but that he didn't dare. Feng Zan had never been so terrified, even if he was surrounded by S-level beasts, he had never been so frightened. Just now, after the teammates launched an attack, Feng Zan immediately controlled the mecha and rushed over. However, at that moment, a premonition of imminent death made him abruptly stop the mech from advancing. Then, an extremely thick pure white light beam swept across in front of him. That huge power is definitely not an ordinary light beam, because all the matter along the way will be reduced to nothing under this light beam. Feng Zan had enough reason to believe that if his mech was hit by this shot, he would surely die. This is, warning me. Feng Zan's hands were clenched tightly, and blood even overflowed. There was no second attack, but with the accuracy of that beam, Feng Zan had no doubt that if he dared to join the battle, he would definitely see the second beam penetrate his mecha. Feng Zan did not find the other party's figure, but this did not prevent him from making a judgment after many battles. The opponent is at least 2,000 kilometers away from you. Sniper pilot. Feng Zan bit his lips, no, no, it's a hunter. In the group of pilots, in addition to the distinction between close combat and far combat, there is also a kind of pilot. The number of such pilots is extremely rare, but it is an existence that can make all pilots terrified. That's the sniper pilot. The cooperation of the sniper pilot and the sniper armor can achieve ultra-long distance one-hit kills. This kind of attack extremely tested the pilot's skills. Among the sniper pilots, there are sniper pilots, hunters, hunters in white, and the legendary night butcher. In history, there was once a person who had reached the level of a night butcher. Countless alien beasts and pilots died in his hands. Among them, there were many super S-level existences, but they disappeared hundreds of years ago. According to rumors, this legendary butcher in the Dark Knight was besieged by more than 30 powerful forces and was eventually killed. It's just that no force has come forward to confirm this rumor. From Fang Zan's point of view, the opponent's attack has far surpassed the level of ordinary sniper pilots, at least it is at the level of hunters. And the other side's shot was more of a warning than the possibility of killing him, otherwise with the accuracy and power of this shot, Fang Zan thought he couldn't dodge it. Just when Fang Zan was about to issue a retreat order, the battle situation changed. Chen Emu's sense of touch is very keen. There are six opponents, but there is an obvious shortcoming. Chen Mu discovered this loophole when he kept evading for a minute and a half. So at this moment, he was already close to Feng Yuan's position while constantly changing directions. The opportunity to break through is here. Compared with the others, this pilot's reaction ability is at least three realms behind. Seeing Xing Yun moving in the light beams all over the sky and moving towards him, Feng Yuan immediately started to retreat. But in this way, the entire immaculate encirclement was immediately disrupted. 
the others could only desperately move their positions, trying their best to keep Chen Mu within the encirclement. However, in this way, their shooting accuracy will be greatly reduced immediately. With breathing space, Chen Mu naturally wouldn't let go of such a good situation, Xingyun's engine was fully activated, and rushed towards Feng Yuan like lightning. Xiao Yuan, come closer to me. Outflanked to the right, Captain, what are you doing? Help me, Da Fei, where are you? Feng Yuan's voice made everyone feel contemptuous, but no one showed it. Ah, go to hell. Feng Yuan panicked, all the cannon doors opened, and all the firepower poured out in a disorderly manner. It's just that this level of shooting is full of loopholes in Chen Emu's eyes. After a few flashes, Xing Yan cut Feng Yuan's mech in two along the shoulder with a scythe, exposing the entire cockpit. Feng Yuan's eyes widened to the limit, he passed out, and the entire mech turned around and fell to the ground. No, Feng Zan's roar came out, and then his mecha changed direction crazily in the air, and headed towards Feng Yuan's mecha. What surprised Feng Zan was that the terrifying sniper pilot did not shoot again. After Chen Mu left the battle circle, he went to Dragon City without looking back. Feng Yuan was ejected out of the air more than 20 meters in the air, and fell to the ground, life or death unknown. With the speed of Feng Zan's mecha, even under the distracted defense, he couldn't rush to Feng Yuan's side in the first time. So at this moment, he stopped the mecha anxiously, then jumped to the ground, and jumped to Feng Yuan's side. At this moment, many bones in Feng Yuan's body were broken, and his breath was like a thread. Feng Zan took out a tube of injection without hesitation, and injected it directly into him. Team leader, go back to Dragon City immediately, I won't die yet. Feng Zan picked up his younger brother and ran towards the mech. Yes, captain of the guard. Captain, what about Chen Mu? Don't worry about it, save Xiao Yuan first. Feng Zan's face was livid at the moment. In any case, he never thought in advance that this battle would have such a result. Dot dot dot. In the air 3,500 kilometers away from the battlefield, the blue Baixiang mecha hung the sniper cannon on its back again, its electronic eyes flickered for a while, and went in the direction Chen Mu left. Who is it? Chen Mu's complexion is also very ugly at the moment. As a person who traveled from a peaceful world, although Chen Mu had some psychological preparations for this kind of struggle, he was not ready to fully face it. Suddenly confronted with this kind of life and death battle at this moment, Chen Emu's state of mind changed drastically in an instant. This is not my original world anymore, if I hold the mentality of playing games, I will die. Chen Mu took a deep breath and increased the speed of the mecha to the maximum. Go back to Lao Yi and see if you can find out the reason. Chen Mu immediately thought of Yi Jingxuan. This means that he has begun to think about his situation and the people who can help him. For Chen Mu, this is very critical. This is a manifestation of him beginning to integrate himself into the world, rather than holding the mentality of a passerby. Xingyun is like a shooting star, streaking across the gloomy sky. Congratulations, third level recruit Chen Mu, you have successfully promoted your rank to corporal, achieved considerable results in the battlefield of alien beasts, contributed your own strength to the survival of mankind, and your prestige in the world of pilots has been improved. Corporal Chen Mu, you are already an experienced veteran, and your authority in Dragon City has been elevated, please check it yourself. Chen Mu looked at his badge, on which a 3D virtual screen was projected, marking his authority and responsibilities. Compared with recruits, corporals can buy various materials and injections in Dragon City, and the price can be reduced by half. And when a war breaks out, it can lead 10 recruits, plus 100 ordinary pilots, to form a standard combat team. After these things were done, it was less than an hour before the passage of Dragon City was closed, Chen Mu boarded the transfer spaceship with a heavy face and headed for the main world. Two and a half hours later, Chen Mu, who returned to Tianfu Academy, breathed a sigh of relief. At this time, Mu Junlin had already arrived at the tarmac early to wait for his return. Ah Mu, this side, this side. When Chen Mu saw Mu Junlin who kept waving, and Wea who was standing silently, he immediately relaxed and felt sleepy all over his body. The great terror between life and death before, at this moment, swept the whole body like a tide. Ah Mu, are you okay? Mu Junlin was taken aback, and ran towards Chen Mu quickly. And Wea has gone one step faster and reached Chen Mu's side. 
It's okay, just a little tired. With your physical fitness, this is impossible. Wea said calmly. Maybe it's a psychological effect. It's much better now. Chen Mu smiled. Why, are you waiting for me to eat? That's right, I haven't eaten barbecue for several days. Mu Junlin showed two small canine teeth again. Then let's go, where's Lao Yi? Old Yi said, after we finish eating, I will let you go find him. Okay, Chen Mu nodded. Both of them had a good meal, only Chen Mu was preoccupied. After drinking and eating, Chen Mu came to the small workshop. Well, I already know what happened to you, just describe the details of the battle to me. Yi Jingxuan put down the laser cutter and sat down on the chair. When he heard that Chen Mu had been attacked before he even entered the cockpit, Yi Jingxuan's eyes lit up and then quickly closed. Yi Jingxuan didn't speak until Chen Mu had finished speaking, you did a good job, beyond my imagination. Who is it? Is there a way to find out? I don't want someone to cheat on me behind my back, but I don't know anything about it. Yi Jingxuan smiled and pointed to a memory card on the desktop. Chen Mu moved his eyes and inserted the memory card into his communicator, a virtual screen reappeared, and texts and images began to appear continuously. Fang Zan, 27 years old, the most outstanding pilot of the three generations of Fang family disciples, the mech he uses is rated as S by Raging Flame, he is resolute, courageous, tolerant, stable, meticulous in thinking, and moves before he thinks, with a comprehensive score of SS plus in mecha combat skills. The experience was unknown before the age of 10. At the age of 12, I got the melee mech Raging Flame. At the age of 13, I entered the Sanctuary Academy. From the age of 13 to now, he has experienced hundreds of battles in the Alien Beast Battlefield without a single defeat. His military rank has been promoted to Colonel, and he is listed in the list of the top 100 pilots of the new generation of Dragon Kingdom, ranking 72nd. This is Fang Yuan's big brother. The one attacking you today is the team, Broken, led by him. This is a team whose overall strength has reached the SS level. It ranks 7th among the top 50 schools in Dragon Kingdom. You can escape from their offensive, Chen Mu, you did a good job, no, it was very good. Yi Jingxuan's voice calmed Chen Mu down. According to the information, Feng Zan's mecha is for close combat, but I was on the battlefield, and I didn't face him head on. Well, if he fights against you, with the strength of the Pohuang team, you don't have enough experience right now, and you probably have no hope of getting out. Yi Jingxuan nodded. However, don't worry, what you lack now is actual combat experience, other yes, stronger than them. Then what should I do? Chen Mu asked. According to the laws of our country, those who kill each other in the alien beast space will be dealt with strictly, so if you want to kill them, I can submit the information to the arbitration department. From what you mean, it seems that you don't want me to do this. Chen Mu said uncertainly. Yes, the Powing team is indeed very powerful, but such a whetstone will obviously improve you even more, so I hope you can solve them by yourself instead of relying on external forces. But, I have never killed anyone. Chen Mu looked at his slender fingers. Sometimes, if you don't kill, people will kill you. In this orderly and disorderly era, whether you can defeat others without fighting depends on your deterrence and the height of your position. Quote. And all of this requires a solid record to be convincing or frightening. Yi Jingxuan's words made Chen Mu fall into a deep silence. Yi Jingxuan didn't rush, he had enough patience with Chen Mu. And the only one who can make a decision is always the individual himself. You're right, Lao Yi. Chen Mu stood up. If there is a day, I will definitely be able to do it, but I will never do meaningless killings. Okay, your engraving technique has met expectations during this time, and then there will be some more difficult and complex spare parts production, such as engines, I will provide materials and drawings, and you will do the manual production. Okay, Chen Mu nodded. Life seems to have returned to its original rhythm. Complete Yi Jingxuan's tasks every day, tease Wea who is like a log, or tease Mu Junlin to see how shy she is. But Chen Mu knew in his heart that something was different. That is, after experiencing the moment of life and death, my state of mind is different. Making an engine with bone material is an extremely basic operation that requires Chen Mu not only to have a good understanding of the various properties of bone material, but also to achieve a high level of engine production. So Chen Mu is studying seriously at the moment, 
because Yi Jingxuan promised him that after making a complete engine that meets the requirements, he will give him the mutated energy block. Intuition told Chen Mu that this mutated energy block is definitely effective in repairing Xingyan. Therefore, Chen Mu will not let go of this opportunity easily. You must know that the formation of mutated energy blocks is extremely special and very rare. After passing this village, there may be no such shop. Ah Mu, you haven't gone out for a week, let's go around tonight. Mu Junlin's voice came into the room. Has it been a week? Chen Mu frowned, not really wanting to go out. Well, today is my birthday, let's go to Longyan Mountain. Mu Junlin looked forward to it. Ah, your birthday. Chen Mu turned his face and thought about it, and said, then you go and prepare, wait for me. Okay. Mu Junlin happily ran out. You must know that when Chen Mu is studying, he hates being disturbed by others, but he is willing to put down the books for himself, which makes the pure Mu Junlin very happy. Chen Mu picked up a keel on the table, which was taken from the top of the spine of a quadruped wyvern. It was extremely hard and had a very good fusion with metal. After quietly looking at it for a while, Chen Mu picked up the carving knife and began to carve seriously, and soon a miniature star flame appeared vividly in Chen Mu's hand. The height is only one centimeter, but the proportion of each part perfectly reproduces the unchanged appearance of Xingyan. Satisfied, Chen Mu kicked the sculpture into his pocket, got up and walked outside. The trio walked happily on the mountain path, and there were many pedestrians strolling around. The scenery here is indeed as Mu Junlin said, very unique. Ah Mu, thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. After today, I will be 18. Mu Junlin looked at Chen Mu happily. Well, this is for you. Chen Mu took out Xing Yan's model. Ah, gave it to me. Mu Junlin showed a heart-pounding surprise expression. That's right, I don't know what to give you, so I just carved one of my mechs, the proportions are exactly the same, do you want it? Yes. Mu Junlin grabbed it and held it tightly in her hand. As long as you like it. As long as it's from you, I like it. Mu Junlin summoned up her courage and said softly. Chen Mu scratched his head. Ah. The feelings of a girl are always poetry, and the feeling of first love is always ignorant and unintelligible. Chen Mu's experience in this area is actually quite different from Wea's who keeps silent every day. However, today's atmosphere is indeed in place, Chen Mu pulled the blushing Mu Junlin closer to him, and then kicked out by Wea. Wea used ingenuity, so Chen Mu didn't suffer any harm, but his terrifying power brought Chen Mu and Mu Junlin several meters away at the same time. Then, a few, puff puffs, sounded in the night. Chen Mu trembled all over, rolled on the ground holding Mu Junlin, and then jumped behind the tree without hesitation. The sound of the gunfire with the silencer installed didn't stop for a moment, and Chen Mu didn't have time to take out the mech. What's more, there is Mu Junlin in his arms who has no fighting ability at all. Wea had disappeared, but Chen Mu wasn't worried, and he couldn't help worrying about the current situation. Chen Mu began to change directions constantly, and in this place full of trees, he didn't stop moving for a moment. Only in a state of high-speed movement can the opponent be unable to attack. Chen Mu has already experienced this point in mech battles. Mu Junlin didn't understand what happened, she just sensed that something was wrong. And Chen Mu's actions made her understand that the current situation is very bad. So she immediately curled up and hugged Chen Mu's waist, trying not to cause too much inconvenience to Chen Mu. At this moment, a dark round object in the air was thrown over. Chen Mu felt cold all over his body, it was obviously a high explosive bomb. At the critical moment, Chen Mu kicked the high explosive bomb flying out, and then jumped forward. Boom, there was a violent explosion, which also caused countless screams from Longyan Mountain. From Chen Mu's attack to the explosion of the high explosive bomb, it took less than a minute, but the two had walked through the gate of hell three times. Ah Mu, Wea's voice came, the crisis is over, are you alright? I'm fine, Shaolin, Chen Mu pulled Mu Junlin up from the ground. I. I'm fine. Mu Junlin stood up in shock, her legs were a little weak. Seeing that Chen Mu and Mu Junlin were safe and sound, Wei Ah silently dodged to the right and quickly disappeared. Chen Mu summoned Xing Yan, carried Mu Junlin to jump a few times, and came to the cockpit, only then did he feel relieved. In the dark night, Xing Yan came to the foot of the mountain like a ghost. For this attack, 
the opponent came prepared, and the target was very clear. In Chen Emu's heart, Fang Yuan's appearance immediately appeared. And Wea must have noticed something, so he chased him away. In terms of fighting and tracking, Wea can surpass Chen Mu by a few blocks. So Chen Mu was suspended in midair, quietly following behind Wea. Seeing Wea's flickering figure, Chen Mu sighed for the hundredth time, really, terrifying physical strength. The location where Chen Mu was just now is the top of Longyan Mountain, with a straight line of 1,600 meters above sea level. It took Wea less than a minute to get from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain. And during this time, with Xingyan's detection ability, he almost lost sight of Wea several times. After Wea reached the foot of the mountain, Chen Mu immediately noticed something was wrong. Two mechas are escorting a speeding vehicle and are preparing to leave. Wea turned suddenly and gestured to the air. Chen Mu's heart moved, and he manipulated Xingyan to charge forward without hesitation. The two mechas immediately received the alarm, drew out their beam sabers and rushed towards Chen Mu. And the flying car is adrift, ready to leave. Wea picked up a trash can on the ground, exhaled loudly, and threw it out. The trash can hit the flying car 15 meters above the ground impartially. Boom! The speeding car was hit by this impact and fell down in a spinning motion. This change immediately caused a commotion. Wea rushed towards the flying car like an arrow leaving the string. Hold me tight and hold your head. Chen Mu said softly. Mu Junlin, who was sitting on Chen Mu's lap, obediently buried her head in Chen Mu's chest, then hugged her tightly, and closed her eyes. Mu Junlin's physical fitness is average, so Chen Mu can't make a large-scale change of direction. In that case, Mu Junlin will definitely not be able to bear it. Fortunately, because this is an urban area, the use of mecha hot weapons is not allowed, so the opponent can only fight close combat with him. In this respect, Chen Mu is worthy of anyone. Xing Yan flashed in the air, and passed him head to foot. The Genesis blade sliced through one mecha in an instant, and then Chen Mu rushed forward without hesitation, cutting him in half before the other mecha that rushed past turned around. The flames from the explosion of the two mechas shot up into the sky, and Chen Mu took a deep breath. This was his first time destroying someone else's mecha. Seeing the pilot who hadn't escaped being engulfed in flames, Chen Mu's eyes darkened. In the distance, sirens sounded, and the optical scan also showed that there were three police mechs rushing here at high speed. At this time, Wea lifted one person from the flying car, made a retreat gesture to Chen Mu, and then quickly disappeared on the street. Xing Yan turned around in the air and hurried towards the location of the two residential buildings. At a position 10 meters above the ground, Chen Mu put away the mech, hugged Mu Junglin and landed firmly on the ground, and then quickly circled into a nearby alley. Watching the police mech flying over his head, Chen Mu heaved a sigh of relief, and dragged Mu Junglin to Tianfu Academy. Ah Mu, good, very exciting. Mu Junglin couldn't help panting with excitement. She has been a good girl since she was a child, when has she experienced such a scene? If it wasn't for her trust in Chen Mu, Mu Junlin probably would have passed out long ago. A-D-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T -E -E And the consequence of not fainting is to truly experience what a thrill is. We arrested someone, it should be Feng Yuan, let's go back to the academy to see the situation. Well, this Feng Yuan is really hateful, why is he always unwilling to let you go? Mu Junlin said angrily. It was just a fight. It wasn't a life and death enemy, but they tried to kill me repeatedly. If this kind of person is not dealt with, there will be trouble in the future. Chen Mu's voice became cold, and the murderous meaning in the words made Mu Junlin's heart tremble. Ah Mu, don't become like him, I don't want your hands to be covered with blood. Chen Mu was startled. Killing the two opponents just now, there seems to be no disturbance in my heart. Although a little regretful, Chen Mu always believed in his heart that he was the enemy. The enemy should be eliminated. But if he has power, if he can't control it, will he become a bloodthirsty murderer? Sometimes, if you don't kill, people will kill you. In this orderly and disorderly era, whether you can defeat others without fighting depends on your deterrence and the height of your position. Quote, Yi Jingxuan's words echoed in his mind again. Chen Mu's eyes became firm, and he looked into Mu Junglin's eyes and said softly, No, but if someone wants to hurt people or things I care about, then, with this power, I don't care if my hands are stained with blood. 
Because if you can't protect yourself and the people around you, that is the greatest pain. An unmanned flying car stopped next to Chen Mu, and after swiping the communication card, the two got on it. Half an hour later, Chen Mu arrived at Tianfu College and went straight to the logistics department. And Wea carried a person, and followed Chen Mu into the logistics department. What are you going to do with him? Yi Jingxuan frowned and looked at the unconscious Feng Yuan. How big is the Feng family in Tianfu? In addition to the military, the most powerful people in Tianfu or Sanctuary College, are Tianfu College, and the Feng family and other aristocratic families. The Feng family is the local snake here, with influence spread across various industries, and they are the leading figures of all the aristocratic families in Tianfu. Feng Yuan is a student of Sanctuary College and a disciple of the third generation of the Feng family, so no matter how secretive Wea's actions are, they will definitely be investigated by the other party. You captured him and brought him to Tianfu College. Regarding this, you be aware of it. None of these big forces are easy to get along with, and Sanctuary College and our Tianfu have never been in harmony. Chen Mu frowned. You mean, if I deal with Feng Yuan, the other party will definitely make use of the problem and make trouble. It's inevitable. Yi Jingxuan nodded immediately. I can't cause trouble for you. Chen Mu thought for a long time before standing up. Then what are you going to do about it? The man has been caught, so let him go. That's definitely not okay. I will submit a report to the arbitration department based on the evidence that he intended to murder me. I learned about the law and he will be sentenced to 30 years in prison. Isn't this your ultimate goal? Yi Jingxuan shook his head and said. If he is not willing to be imprisoned for 30 years, then at my suggestion, a death match can be carried out. Regardless of mecha or fighting, he will definitely die. Chen Mu raised his head to look at Yi Jingxuan and said, I have checked his information in detail. Although he has a low voice in the Feng family, he has a good big brother, and Feng Zan's words are also very important in the Feng family. Since they have seen my strength in the alien beast space last time, Feng Zan will definitely not watch his brother die. I bet he will come to me, and I will make him bleed profusely. An unworthy Feng Yuan, there's no need to put everyone into a passive position because of this person. If you dare to trouble me next time, I can kill him if I miss. Yi Jingxuan was silent for a moment, and agreed, your idea is very auspicious. The Feng family has several special minds, and the quality of Dom Alloy produced is very good. With Feng Zan's love for Feng Yuan, a mind should be in the beyond the bottom line. Chen Mu nodded and said, I understand. After discussing with Yi Jingxuan, Chen Mu slapped Feng Yuan awake. Seeing Wea's expressionless face, Feng Yuan trembled all over. You, what do you want? Seeing his appearance, several people sighed in their hearts. How could such a character as Feng Zan have such a cowardly brother? You have prepared to kill me several times, and I have prepared sufficient evidence, so I am going to submit it to the arbitration department and apply for a death match. Chen Mu grinned. It's just that this smile, in Feng Yuan's eyes, is as terrifying as a devil. No, you can't do this. I'm a student of Sanctuary College. I also said that a disciple of the Feng family, they won't let you go. What's the matter? Do they dare to openly violate the laws of the Dragon Kingdom? My elder brother is Feng Zan, Feng Zan in the top 100 list, if you kill me, he will never die with you. Feng Yuan roared hysterically. Oh, then let him rob the prison, I don't believe it, if Feng Zan dares to do this, then you won't be the only trash who will die at that time. Chen Emu's eyes were full of murderous intent. Feng Yuan was stunned for a long time, and suddenly rushed over and hugged Chen Emu's thigh. No, 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 Chen Mu, I was wrong, I, I dare not again, you, you let me go, I brother will definitely repay you, I beg you, I don't want to die. It's late, enjoy your few days. Chen Mu kicked Feng Yuan out. No, please, Chen Mu, I deserve to die, please let me go, I will give you whatever you want. Feng Yuan rushed over desperately. Oh, anything you want. Yes, yes, my elder brother will definitely agree to you, please. Feng Yuan said loudly with his heart broken. Okay, contact your brother, remember not to say a single nonsense, I just want you to tell him my decision, and if you say one more word, I will cut off one of your fingers. Okay, me, I'll contact him now. Feng Yuan dialed the communicator with trembling hands. Dot dot dot.
In the hall of the Fung family at this moment, more than 20 people are having a meeting around the round table. Fung Zan, who was wearing a combat uniform, sat first on the left hand of Patriarch Fung Zhen, with an extremely gloomy expression. Just now he received a notification from his subordinates that the younger brother who was locked up by him secretly took several killers raised by the family out, and there has been no news for two hours. This gave Fang Zan a bad feeling in his heart. At this moment, the communicator sent a signal requesting connection. Looking at the other party's ID, Fang Zan heaved a sigh of relief and connected Fang Yuan's request. Fang Yuan's trembling voice sounded, repeating Chen Emu's decision word by word. Fang Zan remained expressionless until he heard the last word, then looked at the opposite party and hung up the communication. The nails of both hands had already penetrated deeply into the flesh. Fang Zan, what's the matter? Fang Zhen frowned and looked over. It's nothing, something happened below, and today's meeting is almost done, Patriarch, I'll deal with it first. Okay, go get busy. Fang Zhen nodded, watching Fang Zan walk out of the hall step by step. It wasn't until he returned to his courtyard that Fang Zan sighed, but then his expression turned cold, and he looked at the study on the right. Who? You're improving so fast. A lazy voice came out, and then a figure of a man in a silver battle suit came out, with a mask like a black hole on his face. Master, Fang Zan immediately knelt down on one knee and saluted respectfully. There are no outsiders here, so you don't need to be so polite, just get up. Yes, my lord, why did you come here? I suddenly had some thoughts recently, so I went out for a walk and took a look at you. What happened? You look murderous. The masked man sat down on the chair leisurely and asked. A little family matter, if you say it out, I'm afraid it will affect the mood of the lord. It's okay, it just so happens that there's nothing to do now. As soon as Feng's strategy hesitated, he explained everything after the conflict between Feng Yuan and Chen Miu. The masked man's eyes kept flickering, and after he listened quietly, he finally said, Your younger brother, it's true that you have done more than fail, but I can understand that, after all, he is your only relative. It's just that his ability to cause trouble far exceeds your ability to fight fires. Can you really handle it? Fang Zan showed a helpless expression, Please Lord teach me. The masked man stood up noncommittal, walked around the courtyard twice, and then stopped, looking at Fang Zan with unclear eyes, have you known Chen Miu? The information is limited, but it shouldn't be from a big family, right? Fang Zan said hesitantly. No, you don't know what you are facing. This is the fundamental reason why you have been unable to solve the existence of the other party. The masked man shook his head. Does the Lord know something? This Chen Miu has a strong background. Fang Zan asked hurriedly. Well, I don't know much, but your brother shouldn't be a big problem. Since Feng Yuan told you about the other party's preparations, it's actually clear that he wants to negotiate with you, so you should be prepared to bleed. Since the Lord judges this way, it's probably close to ten. As long as I can afford it, Chen Miu can open it. The assets of the Feng family don't matter to me. Feng Zan breathed a sigh of relief. The corner of the masked man's mouth curled up, but he nodded, exactly. Feng Zan stood aside respectfully, without speaking. The masked man looked up at the sky. We have known each other for fifteen years. Yes, fifteen years and four months. How does Rage Flame work? Very well, it fits me perfectly. With your ability, you should be able to control the SS level mecha. After I get an item, I will find a way to help you upgrade the mecha. Yes, my lord, thank you for your cultivation. Fang Zan's eyes showed rare excitement. You fought for this by yourself. What I did was just icing on the cake. Don't thank me. Work hard. One day, this decadent Fung family will be yours. I believe that with your ability, you can completely enough to take control of the situation. Fang Zan nodded. Okay, without delaying your rescue of your brother, you can contact Chen Miu. Yes, my lord, you should rest first, and I will make arrangements for you later. No, I'm leaving soon. The masked man shook his head and walked out. Fang Zan, sometimes, I really want to see where your potential is, don't let me down. Fang Zan frowned, not understanding what the masked man meant for a while. But this does not hinder Fang Zan's trust in him, because if it weren't for the other party, he would have passed away when he was 12 years old, let alone have the current identity and status. 
What was once thought to be hopeless for revenge in this life has become more and more possible. All of this makes Fang Zan grateful to the masked man. Fang Zan bent over and waited until the masked man stepped out of the yard, then straightened up and dialed the communicator. A luxury speeding car roared over, stopped beside the masked man, and opened the door. The masked man showed a slight smile and sat up. My lord is in a good mood today. A pleasant female voice sounded. Yes, Shui Ji. The masked man smiled, changed to a comfortable sitting position, and lay down. Can I share it with Shui Ji? The masked man didn't answer, but asked instead, Do you know what is the most powerful force in this world? Mecha control, Shui Ji asked hesitantly. No, it's feelings, the masked man said leisurely. Whether it is love or hate, people can burst out their potential far beyond the limit of the body. I am really curious to what extent a character like Feng Zong can improve. If he passes the test, the SS level rage flame will become his magic weapon. No matter how high his achievements are, isn't he also a long knife in your hand, my lord? Shui Ji laughed. The masked man shook his head and looked at the sky outside the window. What a surprise, Chen Mu. The existence that can be protected by Yi Shui must be someone Yi Jingxuan cares about. The surname is Chen. He he, it's so interesting. Chen Mu, set out your conditions. Fang Zan looked at Chen Mu's face in the communicator. Why the condition? I think a deathmatch is more suitable for me. After all, your younger brother wants me to die. If it were you, you would miss this good opportunity. Chen Mu said calmly. Fang Zan was silent for a while, and then said, Xiao Yuan is still young and ignorant, and the entanglement between you, in my opinion, is completely a child's play, which is not worth mentioning, so you have a lot to do. Let him go, and I will be rewarded. It's useless to say more. You seem to be a child playing house, but I have walked through the gate of hell several times. You know this better than anyone else. For what I have done, I will apologize to you and compensate you for the loss, and in the future, where Yu Chen Mu appears, I, Feng Yuan, will take a detour. If you think it is okay, then offer a condition, as long as I can meet it, it's not a problem. 10 million credits, no problem. 10 mutant energy blocks. Mutated energy blocks are hard to come by. I have only seen one in so many years. I can give it to you, but your next request should not be too much. Then the last request, your Dom Alloy Mine, you need to give me one. Feng Zan fell silent and turned off his voice, as if he was in contact with someone. Chen Mu is not in a hurry either, the other party should be negotiating with the family. After all, the first two should belong to Feng Zan himself, and the Dom Alloy Mine is definitely a strategic resource controlled by the family. A full hour later, Feng Zan's tired face reappeared on the communicator, agreed, exchange tomorrow, you must ensure that my brother will not suffer any abuse. Chen Mu pointed the communicator at Feng Yuan and asked him to say hello to Feng Zan. Only then did Feng Zan nod his head, then at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, at the gate of Tianfu Academy. After Chen Mu agreed, he turned off the communicator. This Feng Zan did express his sincerity and took the initiative to put the location in Tianfu Academy, which was also a gesture of goodwill. Okay, you can go back tomorrow. Chen Mu looked at Feng Yuan, if you provoke me again, I can't guarantee what I will do next time. Yes, brother Chen Mu, I will never provoke you again. Feng Yuan said honestly. For Feng Yuan, who grew up under the protection of the big brother, he has never encountered the current situation. Relying on the Feng family's signature, the older generation will not lower their value, and the new generation can't do anything to him, so he has developed a personality of being defiant. But after offending Chen Mu, not only was he almost killed, but he was directly caught by the other party on the enemy's territory. For the first time in his life, he experienced unpredictable life and death, and his biggest backer has honestly apologized. This made Feng Yuan wake up and realize the seriousness of his matter. So Feng Yuan secretly vowed in his heart at this moment that he would never provoke Chen Mu again. With such thoughts in mind, Feng Yuan's posture at the moment is extremely low. Chen Mu took him to a closed room, took his mecha space button and said, Don't worry about it, so you can go back tomorrow. Yes, looking at Feng Yuan with low eyebrows and pleasing eyes, Chen Mu frowned, turned around and came to the polishing room. Have you talked with Feng Zan? Yi Jingxuan looked over. Well, 
I don't know how to collect this Dom alloy mine, so I have to trouble you, old ye. It's simple. I will arrange for professionals to connect. Having this mine will be good for you in the future. If you plan to be an ordinary person, the output of the mine is enough to make you live comfortably in your life. That's unlikely. Chen Mu grinned. I'm an official pilot, by the way, Lao Yi, when will you give me the mutated energy block? You have a B-level mecha, it's not very useful to mutate energy blocks, why are you in such a hurry? Yi Jingxuan asked suspiciously. That's my business. Look, I've already learned about the engine, and it's only one or two months away from making it. Why don't you give me the reward first? Well, that's true. Yi Jingxuan nodded. Ha, huh, you agree. Chen Mu approached with joy and stretched out his hands. Yi Jingxuan slapped his hands down angrily, dream. Hey, Lao Yi, you are so mean. Chen Mu lay down on the chair. By the way, Lao Yi, where is your family? Why don't you see them come to see you? Oh, I see, you must be too stingy and gambler, so they don't want to see you. Tisk tisk, what a tragedy. Chen Mu rubbed his chin, clicked his tongue repeatedly, and seeing Yi Jingxuan was both angry and funny, he waved his hand and smashed Chen Mu's head with a wrench. Chen Mu stretched out two fingers and caught the wrench. Lao Yi, it's not as easy to hit me now as before. I have practiced with Wea before. With your three-legged cat's kung fu, Wea exerted all his strength, and you probably won't last ten seconds. TCH, then let Wea fight Mecha with me, and I'll let him have one hand. Chen Mu chuckled. Yi Jingxuan was speechless for a while. The less people know about the exchange tomorrow, the better. You and Wea can just take Mu Wanching with you. Ha, huh, Shaolin's aunt. Chen Mu sat up in surprise. Yes, she is not only a maintenance master, but also has outstanding management skills. She knows all kinds of situations in the Dom Alloy Mine well. With her, the handover work will be very smooth. After the handover, Mu Wanching should send a professional team from the college to manage the mine. In this regard, the college should charge 30% of your output as a management fee. It's reasonable. I don't know how to do it. It's best to have a professional. Chen Mu nodded. Well, your biggest task at present is to learn and practice, to improve your combat effectiveness as soon as possible. Yi Jingxuan agreed with Chen Mu. Hey, by the way, Lao Yi, you seem to be particularly concerned about the improvement of my combat power. Is there something tricky? Do you want to hear the truth or a lie? That must be true. Yi Jingxuan's pensive expression made Chen Mu curious. The expression of this old man looks like a person with a story. The truth. Yi Jingxuan looked at Chen Mu with a serious face, which made Chen Mu also serious. Actually, I am your grandfather. Chen Mu. Ha. Huh. Yi Jingxuan's words almost made Chen Mu's eyes pop out. Lao Yi, you are not being kind. You actually took advantage of me, and even took advantage of my mother. Seeing Chen Mu's angry expression, Yi Jingxuan said seriously, have you met your grandfather? No, I'm really your grandfather. Chen Mu. Oh. Chen Mu really wanted to slap Yi Jingxuan on the head at this moment, but the other party was so old, and Chen Mu was afraid that if he accidentally slapped Yi Jingxuan, he could only look at him bitterly. Although you are indeed very old, I'm not stupid. If you were my grandfather, my father would have told me about it. That's because your father is an idiot. Yi Jingxuan had a look of reminiscence on his face. This time, Chen Mu was a little dumbfounded. Could it be that he is really a grandfather? But, this is too outrageous. After thinking for a while, Chen Mu said, Since you are my grandfather, what proof do you have? Yi Jingxuan took out a lady's bag of some age. It can be seen that this bag has been taken care of very carefully. Yi Jingxuan took out a red rope from it, on which was a half gourd made of non-gold and non-wood materials. Have you seen this? This is a token of love between me and your grandmother, and she gave her own to your mother later. Chen Mu's eyes widened, because, he has indeed seen it, and it is still tied around his wrist at this moment. Chen Mu took the red rope in disbelief, and aligned the gourd on it with the gourd on his wrist, making them fit perfectly. I, I, I. Chen Mu's lips trembled, and he was speechless for a long time. The words of his mother when he tied the red string also came to Chen Mu's mind. Xiaomu, if one day you meet a girl you like and are willing to protect for the rest of your life, tie this red string on her. 
It's just a pity, this jasper gourd was originally a pear, and the other half disappeared with your grandmother. You, 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 do you know the whereabouts of my grandma? Chen Niu stood up abruptly. Yi Jingxuan's eyes showed sadness, she is no longer alive. I, Chen Niu felt his head was filled with paste, and he lost the ability to think. All this is like in a dream. However, from the bottom of his heart, Chen Niu believed Yi Jingxuan's words. After all, this jasper gourd, according to my mother, is the only one in the world, and it is a family heirloom of the Lu family. No, Chen Niu said suspiciously, Lao Yi, your surname is Yi, not my mother. Hey, there are too many reasons for this, and it can't be explained in one or two sentences. I will explain it to you slowly when I have a chance in the future. Yi Jingxuan shook his head. Looking at his expression, Chen Emu's heart was shaken again, so he walked out of the room and dialed the communicator for his mother. Xiao Mu, how is college life? Lu Ruoxin's smiling face appeared on the communicator. Mom, I'm fine, I have something to ask you. Ah, what's the rush? Grandpa is still alive, right? Chen Mu thought for a while and asked. Why do you ask this suddenly? Didn't I tell you that your grandfather died the year you were born? Lu Ruoxin frowned. But today someone took out the other half of the jasper gourd and said he was my grandfather. Lu Ruoxin fell silent for a while before she asked, is his surname Yi? Yes, mom, is it really grandpa? Chen Mu said excitedly. I didn't expect that he really found the mother's relic. It's really hard for him. Lu Ruoxin murmured. Mom, oops, tell me quickly, I'm so anxious, is he my grandfather? He, Lu Ruoxin didn't seem to know how to answer, and after a while she whispered, even if it is, Xiao Mu, you must remember to respect him, because he must be someone who treats you sincerely. Mom, Chen Mu said dissatisfiedly, what is it? Do you have any conflicts with your grandfather, which caused you to change your surname? It's a long story, and you will know it later. Seeing that Lu Ruoxin and Yi Jingxuan had the same tone of voice, Chen Mu began to believe in his heart that Yi Jingxuan was his grandfather. After all, the mother's appearance, no matter how she looked at it, she seemed to be having trouble with her grandfather. Moreover, the mother also said personally that Yi Jingxuan was sincere to her. Why is she so sure? There is only one possibility, he is really my grandfather. Thinking of this, Chen Emu's heart also became happy. After talking to Lu Ruoxin for a few more words, Chen Mu happily hung up the communicator and ran to the room. Grand, Grandpa. Hearing Chen Emu's words, Yi Jingxuan burst into tears suddenly, choked with sobs and nodded, Okay, good boy. Chen Mu also felt that his eye sockets were a little sore, so he couldn't help rubbing them. My mother kept telling me when I was a child that my grandfather was the strongest pilot in that era, and I finally met him. It's not the strongest pilot, there is someone who is more powerful than him. Yi Jingxuan's face suddenly turned serious, and he said unceremoniously, that person is a hundred times more powerful than your grandfather. Ah, Chen Mu looked dull, who? So powerful, that's Yi. Yi Jingxuan's expression froze suddenly, and he changed the subject as if nothing had happened, forget it, we'll talk about this later. Why, don't worry, grandpa, the one who is stronger than you, I will help you defeat him in the future. Chen Mu raised his right fist and said seriously. Ahem, Yi Jingxuan suddenly coughed. Grandpa, are you okay? It's okay, it's good to be ambitious, you have to work hard. Yi Jingxuan affirmed. That must be, I am going to be the number one pilot in the world. Chen Mu laughed out loud. Okay, let's finish the engine first. Yi Jingxuan pointed to a pile of materials and bones on the table. Okay. Chen Mu immediately started a new round of processing and experimentation. Seeing Chen Mu's undivided attention, Yi Jingxuan nodded. A person's talent represents his upper limit of achievement. But a person who is talented but has no self-control ability and is unwilling to settle down to study and study may still be very good at the beginning, but in the end, he cannot escape the ending of everyone. Chen Mu can maintain 200% enthusiasm and patience for the improvement of knowledge and strength. Maybe this is the reason why he is so powerful at this age. Yi Jingxuan found that after staying with Chen Mu for a long time, the more he admired this calm and calm young man. A busy day passed quickly. Today was the time to exchange hostages with Feng Zan. Early in the morning, 
Chen Mu and Wea practiced for an hour, and brought Mu Wancheng and Fang Yuan to the door. At exactly 10 o'clock, the two flying cars arrived at the gate of Tianfu Academy on time. This is the first time Fang Zan and Chen Mu have met, and Chen Du only sees each other's existence. Fang Zan brought seven people, and under Fang Zan's signal, three of them started the handover of the Dom Alloy Mine with Mu Wancheng. It will take a little time, and several people have brought optical brains and are constantly operating. Although Tianfu Academy has its unique features, it is still much worse than Sanctuary Academy. Fang Zan didn't look at his younger brother, but said to Chen Mu. It doesn't matter how the college is, what matters is the individual. Chen Mu shook his head. Indeed, Fang Zan gave a rare smile. I brought everything you asked for. I hope this time, the grievances between my brother and you will be wiped out. That depends on Fang Yuan. Chen Mu accepted a half-meter-long box from Fang Zan, noncommittal. There is a piece of ore shining red light quietly inside, exuding an aura full of sulfur smell. The credit has been transferred to your personal account. If there is nothing else, I will take Xiaoyao and leave. No problem. Chen Mu waved his hand. Fang Yuan walked towards Big Brother without saying a word, and nothing happened during the process, which made Fang Zan heave a sigh of relief. Then goodbye, Chen Mu. Seeing Chen Mu nodding, Fang Zan led a group of people to the speeding car. The three of Chen Mu also returned to the academy with satisfaction. I'm sorry, brother, it's all my fault that made you worry about me all the time. This time, you even lost the priceless mutant energy block. Fang Yuan stopped suddenly, choked up and said. Fang Zan looked at his younger brother carefully for a while, and suddenly smiled. I didn't expect that I taught you for so many years, but you didn't learn it well. In the end, you were taught by Chen Mu, and you came to understand instead. Should I thank Chen Mu? Looking at the big brother's smile, Fang Yuan only felt more and more uncomfortable, I'm sorry, I. No need to do this. Fang Zan grabbed Fang Yuan's shoulders. You are my brother, a real brother, we should support each other in our whole life. Xiao Yuan, your talent is no lower than that of big brother, you must work hard, if God, big brother is dying, and I still count on you to help me. Brother, I will. Fang Zan let go of his right hand, and lightly punched Fang Yuan on the chest. Brother, believe in you, we two brothers are destined not to be ordinary people, get in the car, let's go home. Um, Fang Yuan smiled, and walked towards the car, then froze in place, and countless bloody flowers flashed in front of his eyes. In the ear, it seems that the call of big brother also came. It's just that this call is so far away, as if separated by thousands of mountains and rivers. Then, he felt his whole body fly up. Fang Zan's smile froze on his face, he seemed a little puzzled, a little unbelievable, a little at a loss. In his eyes, Fang Yuan's body was suddenly torn in half by the huge air current. Blood was splashed all over his head and face. There is only one possibility for the human body to suffer such severe injuries from a single shot. Large caliber equipment sniper rifle. No. A hoarse roar, like a ghost, resounded on the street where people were coming and going. Fang Zan hugged half of his brother's body in horror, desperately trying to hold down the blood that was constantly spraying. Brother, Fang Yuan's hand hangs down feebly. No, no, ah, who is it? Tears kept falling in Fang Zan's eyes, and he looked in the direction of Tianfu Academy. The bullets of the sniper rifle were fired from inside Tianfu Academy. Except for their own people, no outsider can do this step. Chen Mu, get out of here. Fang Zan's roar, coupled with the bloody and murderous aura exuding from his body, made passers-by on the street start to scatter in all directions. Young master, this is the territory of Tianfu Academy. We are short of manpower now, so we need to be patient. The voice of his subordinates was like pouring a basin of cold water on Fang Zan's head. He gritted his teeth tightly, ignoring the teeth that were about to shatter. Boom, following Fang Zan's fist hitting the hard ground, he hugged his younger brother's body and stood up like a ghost, let's go. A group of people quickly boarded the flying car and headed for Fang's house. On the broad street, the blood on the ground is like a coquettish flower, which is breathtaking. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.